Hello, lovely army. My name is Casey, the lovely ladybug, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, last time we just fought Undyne, and that took forever. And yeah, that was pretty intense. But now we've reached Hotland. Seems to change the laboratory in a place like this. Yeah, filled with determination. Uh, we're gonna go see Doctor Alphys if she's here. Yep, yeah, this is Doctor Alphys, I believe. Whoa, what the? That's me. It's you? <laughs> Question mark. What is this crap? It's too dark to see near the walls. Huh. It's so dark in here. Someone turn the lights on. <gasps> Dr. Elphys! I saw fan art of you. You are so cute. Oh! Oh my! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Sammy, knock it off! Sorry. Um, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Esquire's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. You're the one that hid the camera in the bush. Or in the rock, or I don't know. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I've, I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Um, uh, well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A month ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Metaton! I saw a fan art of him. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some practical adjustments, like, um, anti-human anti combat features? Of, co of course, I, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Oh boy. Oh, he's right behind me. He's right behind me, ain't he? Did you hear something? Dr. Alphys, you're so cute. Oh no. Yes! Welcome, beauties! <laughs> to today's quiz show! That is Metaton! I can see like the like the human version of it, maybe I've not seen the correct version. Oh boy! I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer cor answer correctly. Or you die! I love this one from the soundtrack. I made this one on my ringtone, I'm dead serious. Okay, now goof around, we gotta do something. I have to cry! Screaming is against the rules! Let's start with an easy one! What's the prize for answering correctly? Oh, Dr. Alphys is like signaling me! Like, she's giving me like answers and stuff with like her hands. The quiz show continues. Metaton, uh. 999 defense and 10 attack? Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Uh, Asgore Dreamer, because, uh, Undyne was telling me that. Correct, it's what a terrific answer. Uh, we're gonna spare him. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams. Ah! I wasn't paying attention, Alphys, I'm sorry! <laughs> Here's another easy one for you. 
Two trains, train A and train B, scientists depart from station A and station B. Uh, okay. Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks. The push drop in Denise. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Alright. Correct! You're so lucky today! Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Let's frog it! You sure, Doctor? <laughs> but can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Wait. <laughs> Doctor Alpha's expression, she's like, Are you serious right now? Heck yeah, I would! Great answer, I love it! Here's a simple one! How many letters in the name Metaton? Yeah. Of course, that was easy for you! The push show continues. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game, you be cutie cutie was me. Oh, I know this one! It's snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone decides to go to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one that wants it! It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys! 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 You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me! I'll ask a question! You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Timer isn't going off, so, uh... Oh, god. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Undyne. Uh, that was correct! I knew it! People were making fan art of her and Undyne, and it was so cool. See, office I told you, it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, her, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> she writes fanfiction of them. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Oh, I hope he attacks with that music every time. Well, that was certainly something. Dr. Alphys, you have something to explain to me? Oh, <laughs> get out of my face! You're too close to my face! He, was, he wasn't supposed to read that one. Alrighty. Wait, wait! Alright, Alphys. Let me give you my f phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Uh, wh where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Alphys, come back! Come back, you're so cute, wait. <laughs> come back. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. She's like, um, uh, uh, <laughs> she's so cute, I love her. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Oh, so he was hiding behind here the entire time? Ha. Ah. The fridge is full of, with inst is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a pack of package of noodles. Yeah, take it. You got the instant noodles. Alrighty. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Aw, Nico, you're so cute. Or Neko, I don't really know. <laughs> It's computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Alrighty. There's me! Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... Hmm. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. I'd say it's half empty. <clears throat> Never mind. Oh, I've been watching Finding Nemo way too much. Let's go upstairs. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. 
All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. It doesn't strike you as very accurate. No, ah, it's like the attack on Titan. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Read one, yeah. You look inside, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy. Alphys! That's not very accurate. What the? Alphys! Read one. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in his mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. <laughs> anime? Are you serious? You anime trash! The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Aww. What's this? What's this thing? An incredibly, an incredible invention. Invention. When not in use, this bed falls into an easy, extremely easy to draw box. Aww. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back upstairs. Aww. I saw like a poster of Metaton. Is it Metaton or Metaton? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep Meta pronouncing it Metaton. It's a promo poster from Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Aww. Aww, Metaton. You're so cute. Hey, you knocked that off, puppy. Alpha's updated her status. Just realized I didn't watch the... the Watch Undyne fight the human. Sad face. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Happy face. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Cat face. Oh, this one's cool. Vulcan strolls in. Uh, we're gonna hug. You give Hulk, Hulk and a hug, it warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Whoa! Whoa! Can I spare you? Yeah, boy! Zero XP and 40 gold. Yeah, that's how I roll. This looks like the level from Earthbound. Like when they go to fight Gygus. Gonna call them in a minute. Happy face. Yeah, this looks like the where they go fight, like... Gygus and Earthbound. Where, the, where Ness and all the people go back in time and they go fight Gygus. Where apparently he's a fetus. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Filled with determination. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do that LMAO. Well then why are you on the phone? Ah oh, crap. It's on their plane. <laughs> Toby Fox, are you serious? You tell Sunday Plane you like its taste in movies and books. Huh? You, you sicko! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! I'm sorry, Sunday Plane! Approach. You get close to Sunday Plane, but not too close. E human? Oh yeah! I can get like green. Ah! <laughs> gimme, gimme! Can I spare you yet? Don't get in my way. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, just. Ah, ah crap. Eh, I don't leave. Hopefully, I can survive this. Approach. You get close to Sunder Plane, but not too close. Eh, human? No! Dang it! Crap! Shoot! to do this anime oh yes we all know oh oh this takes me places oh crap no son wait i don't want to fight you it's not like i like you oh no 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 son no 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 leave me alone no son of a i don't want to fight you i no i don't i want to leave you it 
it's not like I like you. Ah oh, crap. Ah oh, crap. No, 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 Sunderplane, leave me alone, Sunderplane. Approach. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. A human? Shakes its nose dismissively at you. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. A human? Definitely bumps you with his wing. Oh, I can spare him now! Or spare her, him, her. You want to know, is being 60 gold? But I'm like really low on health now. Pete, I'm busy! I'm playing Undertale! Leave me alone! Eh, Pete was trying to call me on Skype. Doesn't he understand? I'm busy! Oh no! Wait, what was that? It's like, it was like a pot! There's a fried pan lying on the ground. Will you take it? Yes. You got the fried pan. No, I want to go over here. I guess I can't go back over there. No, I want to go up. Yeah, a jet. Alpha's updated our stars. OMG, I just had my claw over the last. I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call him. Don't call me, please. You otaku trash. Pyro! Uh, sure. You crank up the- oh, jeez. I'm getting hot on screen. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter! Oh, no, no, no! It's a bomb! <laughs> Is it cold in here? No, 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 leave me be, leave me be! <laughs> Eat up! Crank up the thermostat, it's super hot. Higher up looks satisfied. Hot, hotter, hotter! <laughs> you otaku trash! Hey, that's Herman, I know. And by the way, you guys, if you get offended when I call you guys otaku trash, I call everyone that. And it's in no way to offend you guys. Pete's trying to call me on Skype. I'm busy! I'm not in the mood, Sunderplane! Well, I was calling Hug up before you could answer. Yes. I bet it was Alphys. Ring. Uh, hi! So, the blue lasers, uh, I mean, Alphys here. Hi, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving and they. Um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, 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 bye! Good. OMG, I did it! Claws haven't shook like that since when Dan called me to ask about the weather. Wait, there's no weather down here! Why did she call me? We're deactivated, yes. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell them where to go. Alphys, leave me alone! Cute fit cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over. Oh Well you are otaku trash. Uh Alphys here! Uh, there's the northern door. We'll stay locked until you Solve the puzzles on the right and left. I I think you should go to, go, go to the right first. Click. All right, we'll go right. Alphys, 
Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Oh, I get it! It's like one of those tr puzzles type thingies. talked with Pete for a while so here we go whoa that's really loud jeez hey uh, it's kind of dark in there isn't it don't worry I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up what oh no oh my gosh oh yes welcome beauties to the underground's premiere cooking show Kill cooking with a killer robot Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Uh, do you need human soul as well? You found the sugar. You found the milk. You found the eggs. Great job, beautiful! We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Do you need my soul? Milk, sugar, eggs? Oh my, what a magnificent moment! How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient! My soul? <laughs> a human soul! <laughs> it's got a chainsaw! Go. Run! Wait, what? Ring! Hello! I'm kind of in the middle of something here! Wait, wait just a second! Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you make... Use a... Couldn't you make a substitute in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a... Different, non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? <laughs> vegan? Uh, well, I mean... It's a bright idea, Alphys! Actually, I happen to have an, have an option right here! Entity brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. Wait, that's what entity stands for Metaton! A can of which can is just over on that counter. Jeez, I'm starting to sound like Alphas. Metaton's voice, I don't know what he's supposed to sound like it. Well darling, why don't you go get it? Alright, uh move out of the way, Metaton. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Wait, shaking. What? Oh my goodness! By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get to, if you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go with the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Oh, and he just takes off. Ring. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. So fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this! Oh my goodness, she gave me a jetpack! There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top! Now, get up there! Alrighty! Let's do this! Oh crap, he's throwing stuff at me. No, Metaton, stop it! No, Metaton! <laughs> Knock it off! Oh great, he's just throwing crap at me now. Ah oh, crap, it slows me down! <laughs> Don't slow me down, Metaton! Leave me alone! Ah! Ah! Stop it! Ah! Stop it! 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 I have 30 seconds! Ah! 
Because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think of what would happen, what would have happened without her. Well, toodles! Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Oh, I climbed all, I went all the way up there for the, oh my gosh! It was not that long up there. Ring! Wow, we, we did it! We, we really did it! Great job up there, team! Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Click. All right. There's our save spot. Yes! Yes, darling! Give me that save spot. You will the determination. Okay. Ring! See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts goth geeth geothermal energy into magical electricity by uh anyway that's that's where we're going to that's where we're going to go in the core is an elevator directly to asgore's castle and from there you can go home click all right <laughs> elevator please select the location left floor one What's down here? Us. Oh, I've been here already. Oh, that's what was up there. Oh, I get it. I gotcha. Okay, we'll go to right floor two. Okay, let's go. Hey, I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. All right. Okay, I'll try. Hey, boy! Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Yeah, sure. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Yeah. Another H dog? Here you go. Whoops. I'm actually out of hot dogs. Here, you can hear have a hot cat instead. I heard that if you keep buying them, he'll start stacking them on top of your head. It's only 30G. Yeah. Another dog coming right up. You really like hot animals, don't you? Hey, I'm not judging. I'd be out of job if without folks like you. Hey, buddy. What's up? Want to buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Here's that apostrophe apostrophe dog. It's short for apostrophe dog, which is, in turn, short for... Oh, I don't have enough money to buy any more hot dogs. Dang it. Ooh. Ugh, Alphys! Dinner with the girlfriend, winky face, it's a picture of a cat girl figuring next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture- Oh, Papyrus! Are we posting hot quote-unquote pics? Here's me and my cool friend! It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. <laughs> oh, Papyrus. Oh. You can't go to the table stat pyro because you get excited. Hot, 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 hotter, hot. Let's just get everything nice hot. Let's get everything nice and hot in here. No! <laughs> Stupid people. Please like that guys. Oh, I'm already here. Boo! Boo! I don't want to! 
Bye Sans, bye Sans. Office posted a picture. It's a picture of a cat girl figuring next to a bowl of instant noodles. Papyrus! Bombs, bombs everywhere, bombs! I don't want the tough glove. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, crap. No. Oh, poor nabs to Wait, what's this? There is an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Yeah, I'll take it. You got the stained apron. Alrighty. Don't run into Pyro again. He's a dreadful thing. Alpha, stop calling me! I'm busy! This puzzle is kind of um, timing based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them in within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Ah, crap. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh, I have to get them all. This is going to take me forever. Darn it! What in the world? I got all three of them! Okay, fine. Okay, now press the third one. Hey, it looks like you only needed to press two of them. Oh, howdy. Oh my goodness! Alpha's updated her status. That's the last time I try to help with the puzzle, LMAO. Oh, whatever. Ring. Uh, uh, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a while. I I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Click. Oh, so the thing. Like, oh, God. Ah. Ah. But I need to get over there. Ah. Get off the bed, Sammy. <laughs> ah. Alright, so I needed to press those buttons. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, dang it.
Sweet! I did it! Oh, office! OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's such a joke, right? Save. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computer is safe and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Finally. Alpha's updated her status. OMG, they don't, don't they get it, ruin, don't they get it ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? Alpha's updated her status. My Mew Mew to review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. You stop! Who's there? Oh crap! We've like received an anonymous tip, an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know that sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing. Like, what about it, bro? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is like mega embarrassing. We like actually have totally have to kill you and stuff. Oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna I'll clean your guys' armor. You touch Rogard's Rogard one's armor. Your hands slip off. Like, hands off the merch, team attack. Ah crap! Ah crap! Ah crap! Ah no! 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 I whisper. You whisper. You tell Royal Guard One to be honest about it with his feelings. Like, what? I don't get it. Heh. <laughs> ah, crap. No, 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 no. Whisper. You tell Royal Guard to be honest with his feelings. Like, wow, well, I don't get it. What? Ah, crap, 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 crap. Oh, no! I didn't mean to! Oh crap. Alright, another thing you guys were saying was that I needed to go hang out with Undyne, so. Oh wait, that's Naps Blue's house. And you guys said Undyne's house was over here. Oh, it's Revirus! Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yeah, I'll hang out with them. Okay, stand behind me. Psst! Make sure to give her this. Oh, a little bone. She loves these. Aw, oh, Papyrus. I love Papyrus. He's like my favorite character so far. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Oh. Hi, I don't think we've... Oh. Why don't you two come in? Oh, Papyrus. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it in with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No, I want to be your friend. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the same enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend! Out! Now get out of my house! Oh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, Undyne. Dang! What a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you! But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. 
I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah, sure. Sit down and progress? Yeah. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set? What would you like? <laughs> hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! Ah, uh, what? T-Box, blatantly correct choice. Press, let's see. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Uh, soda, sickly yellow liquid. Select, let's see. Sugar, goes in tea. Are you? Hitting on me? <laughs> That's it? Oh my gosh, I can select Undyne. <laughs> oh, duh, Undyne. I'd like you in a tall glass of water. <laughs> I do that. I do that with ice all the time, jeez. Ah, uh, Lightly correct choice. Hot chocolate! I can't drink tea anyway. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait. Wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always castle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Yeah, I'll pick the soda. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh. That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth, it rots your mind, it rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Oh, that's the cutest face I've ever seen! <laughs> I'll have some sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not just gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with, uh, with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs to prelude a, to prelude just to just a prelude prelude to destruction? Did what in the fleet? Is that it? Yeah. What? Really? That rules. I guess I'll choose the tea. I even though I can't drink the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. See, as a Mormon, I'm not allowed to drink tea except for herbal tea, and that's just for like being sick. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> okay, it's all done! Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Oh, Pete! Don't make jokes about this. He likes to call my, me a weenie. And a bunch of my friends weenies. It's weird. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. 
Hey, you, you were the one that he said he was gonna... Um, to be honest, I don't think... I don't know if I can ever... I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... Well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking strong. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look... He was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into a little smiling sh- he get- Okay. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends! Put me down! Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Eh, strong! You punch the vegetables with a f at full push, you knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Yeah! A little excessive then. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. <laughs> but for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy a store brand. They're, cause they're the cheapest! Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice! Alright! It's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Yeah! Yeah! I'm pushing it undone! stuff. Alright, now for the final step, turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back! Uh, alright, uh... Undyne, we set your house on fire. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus fire sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Venture bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed up this time, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my house guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you've got. Yeah! Fake attack. You put it to swing it on undying with all your might. I hope I didn't hit her. Ah! Oh no! Did I screw it up? What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster up any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick 
but but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Just like him! Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are afraid to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Language undine. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! <laughs> it sounds like only fire lives there now. <laughs> well, we made friends with Undyne, so I guess that means we're going to end the episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for... Okay, guys, thank you <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click that like button and leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of this episode. And hey, why not subscribe if you already have it and become a part of the lovely army today? You might have been able to escape this time, but you won't have... But, 